Hello FIFA faithful Barahams here and welcome to episode 23 of my San Lorenzo Academy career mode. We are starting our Copa Libertadores run. So we do have two games on the docket today. One against Venezuelan side Mineros and the second against Colombian side Deportes Tolima. Now for a little state of the save address. We will no longer be playing league games simply because we already won the league. There really is no use. It would be a little redundant just to keep playing those games and try to win the league again. I will be simulating every single league game for the upcoming season. So all that we'll be focusing on for the future are the Copa Libertadores games. For the first of two games in this episode, we do take on Moneros from Venezuela. And I have to say, I am excited to play them just because they're not a team in the actual game. You can't actually play them for a career mode, so it's cool to just take the new teams that they added with the Copa Libertadores update and actually play them. So for group stage one, we're just going to keep the starters in, so we do take on Moneros. Opening day for these two teams in the Copa Libertadores, and the excitement is building. Stay with us, we'll have all the action live on EA TV. Nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, joined here in the commentary box as always by Lee Dixon. And on the menu, an appetizing dish. It's a Copa Libertadores first group stage game. It's Mineros de Guayana, and they take on San Lorenzo. Well, thank you, Derek. As a team, you can really set the tone of the whole competition in these early rounds. Really put the marker down. Everyone is watching. Ah, look at the TV packaging. I love it so much. It looks even better than the Copa Sudamericana's Monero. It's looking to start something, but good block by, I believe, Gutierrez. So he does get there in time. Again, he has been a decent replacement for Hurtado. I hope that he can really step up this season. I mean, it's a new season, honestly, with the Copa Libertadores. There's a good pass to Cardenas, who has taken a Vance roll. Cardenas sees a run from Pereira, but just behind him. He's getting feisty, and he will win it. Good play by Jackson Bagwiz. He does see a run from Skako. Skako dances around, looking for an option. Does get the ball taken away from, but it will fall back as Bagui does take it in. Cuesta, Gabi with the shot. Oh, it hits the post. Oh, it would have been a great chance, but maybe another one, but Pereira skies that one. Good play by Maroya to win it. Will fall back to us and Reinhardt. As this game is sponsored by our friends at Bridgestone. It's Pereira. It's going to tee up another one, but that's just too much power. Oh, we just miss every single chance for the ball, but there's Bagui. Bagui coming with some brutality. It's now Skako. We'll find Pereira. Pereira sees the run from Burgos, and here's our first chance possibly. Burgos cuts around. Ah, oh, he's going to find Reinhardt. Reinhardt. Even he hit the post, but he was offside. There's a through ball to Gabi as Gabi holds it, still holds it. Ah, he's going to lose it. Oh, good play, though, to win it. A chance for the curling shot, but it is off target. Reinhardt could have opened up the scoring. So he does make the most of that deflection, but just not enough for the curler. So the ball will just bounce around. Oh, in the zone, there might be a chance now. Ah, poor pass. So that will do it for the opening half. No scoring as of yet. We did have a couple clangers off the post, but still nil-nil after 45. For the second half, we are trying something a little different as we will take off Burgos and put on Fernando Luna. Now Luna, who has been on loan for many years, is going to get another try to just take a stab at getting some first-team action. Now with Luna, the reason why I brought him on is he has good pace. And he has good height. He is six feet tall, the same height as Burgos. He's not able to get to the ball. Now Rivas getting chased down by Cardenas. Cardenas will block it, though. That's what saves Cardenas, just his defensive prowess. And his passing doesn't help. Though we will win it back because that's what Cardenas does best. For dear life, we'll find, we'll eventually get to Pereira as Gabi. Flips that through to Luna. Luna with the shot, and Luna with his first career goal with San Lorenzo. Able to put it past the Venezuelan keeper. We do have ourselves the lead. Great hold-up play by Pereira. 
was playing at a striker role since Luna was so far backward. Just taps it to him. And outside the box, Luna with a nice strike in the bottom left corner. We do get the 1-0 advantage right now. So who knows? We might have to put Fernando Luna in more. As uh, if Burgos doesn't perform as he usually does. So Luna is actually going to win the ball back. Now maybe a chance for more here as Cardenas does see the run from Skako. Skako. Maybe a chance for a far cross. Actually going to center it through. Reinhardt! Oh my goodness. In the span of just three, four minutes. We have ourselves two goals. Skako continuing his form from the league. Able to slide that to Reinhardt. As Reinhardt gets his 14th goal in all competitions. For the remainder of the game, we have brought on Correa and Cordero. So we'll have Correa, Cordero, and Cuesta in the midfield just to get our starters a break and get some players that deserve some playing time, some first-team time. Cuts around. It's going to find Correa. Correa tries to curl it. We'll keep it at least. Correa with a chance for a second shot, and that one's going to go in. Oh, we are dismantling Moneros right now after they had a stellar first 70 minutes or so. Doing well with defense, but now it's just eroding away. It's shot after shot, just going past the keeper. Cuesta just going to clear it. We'll call that an evening. So we did start out slow, no goals in the first half, but then we just rocketed three in the span of 10, 15 minutes. So we get our first three points of this competition. For the second and final game of the episode, it is a rematch of the Copa Sudamericana final at San Lorenzo take on Deportes Tolima. In that final, we did beat Tolima by a score of 2-1, to one, but we did dominate for most of the game. It was just a garbage goal in the 94th minute is what killed the clean sheet for us as we're looking to start things straight away as Reinhardt flips a pass through, but that is well off as it does hit the crossbar. Would have been an interesting way to score an opening goal, but not quite. Keep the ball moving here. Skako trying to get past Abronaz, but he's going to get cut up, and that is going to be at least a yellow. So that was a nasty tackle. I mean, it better be something because that was just mean. Here we go. Yellow. I am kind of sad. It's not in a fortuitous spot. So Quest is just going to have to launch something in there. I don't think it's going to work out, but we'll try. Is There is a header, but it is off target by Skucko. It's Reinhardt. Put some power into it, looking for a head. Does find Burgos. Tries to go in. Almost a last-ditch effort as Gutierrez tries to head it. Maybe a chance for a shot. A rebound. Nope. Uh-oh. Misplayed. Campaz has an option. Amoroso. Good save. Way to step up. That's probably the first big chance for both sides this game. Now, third chance for a cross. Here's Reinhardt looking for a head. There is a head, and it will be caught, though. Sepulveda did try his best as he has scored from those corners in the past. But that'll do it for the end of the first half. Again, just like the last game, no scoring. And I have to say, Tolima, they had the better half. For the second half, we have brought on Luna for Burgos once again. Seeing if that was more than just luck on his part. As Pereira will find Cardenas. Cardenas will slide that to Luna. As Luna's going to find Pereira. Pereira with an open shot. But the grass cutter is going to go straight to Montero. Ah, oh, good through ball. Sepulveda getting up beat by Miranda's. There's a shot, but a good save by Amoroso. Chance for a rebound. But looks like we made the best of that. Good play by Cardenas just to get in the way as that man is injured. Oh, chance for a Stupinian. Does get the cross in. Great save once again by Amoroso. He has been the reason why we're in this game. So he has made some key saves. So that little tapper could have just slid past him on the near post. But it doesn't. It's still nil-nil. Arroyo will find Pereira as Gabi sees the run by Luna. Luna cuts around. Does curl it. He is going to score. Fernando Luna. In two games off the bench, will score two goals. As Gabi able to find the open striker. And we have the lead. Though it did take a long time. As we do win at home against Tolima by a score of 1-0. to nil. Not the result I really wanted, but got to admit, Tolima did put a good effort. A lot of good shots by them. 
but Amoroso honestly was the MVP of this game made so many saves and if it wasn't for Fernando Luna we wouldn't have the three points. With that second victory against Deportes Tolima, that will do it for this episode. We are sitting pretty with two wins. Same goal difference as Gremio at the moment. That will be the team that we play next. As yeah, we're sitting pretty. Got a two-game advantage over Tolima and Mineros. Most likely, if we do beat Gremio, we'll, we'll make it into the knockout stage of the Copa Libertadores. So yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as you did playing it. Be sure to like it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, toodaloo.